This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. All right, guys, this is one I've, I, I deal with constantly. I get guys reaching out to me. Um, hey, bro, do you think I need to take Kaber with this DECA or Trimbalone cycle that I'm doing? And without fail, every time I ask the guy, have you actually checked to see if you have pro, high prolactin levels that you need Kaber to treat it with? And the answer is almost always no. And this is a bodybuilding mentality. Why are you treating a problem that you don't even know if you have? That makes zero sense to me. You're taking more drugs just for the sake of taking more drugs. Uh, zero sense. So almost every time that I tell somebody to go get blood work to see if their prolactin levels are actually high, and when they get that blood work done and that blood work comes back, almost never do they actually have high prolactin levels. So if you're taking Kaber in that situation, you're taking Kaber for no reason at all and exposing yourself to additional risk for nothing. And another thing to me that makes no sense, if you, let's say that it does cause high prolactin levels and you have erectile dysfunction and all these other problems that come along with that, then lower your dose of whatever the offending compound is, or just don't take that offending compound, take something else. Taking more drugs to take drugs is stupid a lot of times. There are better ways to do it, more efficient ways to do it. Um, I, you know, in my time of looking at this stuff, I've, I've looked at a ton of blood work. I've talked to a lot of people and I've talked to other people that have looked at a ton of blood work. A, a friend of mine uh, who's a medical doctor who deals with this stuff regularly said that he's only actually ever seen one or two people with high prolactin levels uh, from gear. And one of the situations where he thought that the guy had high prolactin, the guy actually from gear, it was actually from a prolactin secreting pituitary tumor. It wasn't even from the gear. I'm not saying it can't happen, but it's very uncommon. And another thing to think about too, with taking Kaber, uh, take a look at uh, dopamine agonist withdrawal syndrome. If you want to scare the fuck out of yourself, do a Google search on that. Um, and what you experience from coming off of Kaber, uh, suicidal tendencies, uncontrollable uh, uh, suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety. Anytime you're fucking with the dopamine receptor, you're rolling the dice. I wouldn't do it. Not not so I could just get a hard on. It makes no sense to me. Uh, so my advice to you is don't take Kaber if you don't need it. And if you think you need it, get some blood work done and find out. And if it turns out to be high, then just drop the compound that made it high and take something else. It's that simple. It's that easy to fix. Guys, if you want help with your program, it blows my mind that, that guys will drop thousands of dollars on gear and stupid supplements that don't work, but then they won't spend a little bit of money on coaching to make sure that they're doing the right thing. Give me a call. Reach out to me. My, uh, my uh, contact information is in the video description below. You can book your consultation. You can book your call by going to www.anabolicbodybuilding.com. Take care, guys.